Hello, it's Jason Payne for Cold Banker, Dan Hop Realtors. Well, once again, I'm back at the beautiful one acre lot community of Bell Oaks in Bolverde, Texas. And I'm out here because I'm showing around an out of state client who watches my videos. So thank you very much. And uh, we're shopping for custom homes that are getting close to being completed, but not quite done yet. It's on the market. This one's scheduled to be completed in October of 2022. And it is a four bedroom, three bath and built by Texas Farmhouse Custom Homes. Let's go check it out. This is a beautiful custom home with a nice metal roof on it. And it is two story, it does have a loft and a space over the garage. My cl client that I'm working with today is an artist. So she's looking for a place to uh, be able to do her paintings and that room over the garage, which you will see, uh, might be perfect for that. Now, this is the main road coming into Bell Oaks. So I do like this community a lot. Of course, I gotta talk about the lot that I still have listed. We just dropped the price again. So if you've been watching my videos, check that lot out. And uh, yeah, this is a wonderful community, a very quiet three car garage. And you can see it's a pretty decent step trying to get up to it right now because it's under construction. There's the white bricks that's going to be going right where you see the green. So yeah, let's head on inside and check out this beautiful home. All right, this is the front porch patio. As you can tell, it's definitely still under construction. So we got a little bit of a mess out here. I do like the fact they're using a zip system. It makes it really a uh, waterproof home. And we still have the construction door. All right, right when you come in, you kind of see the staircase that goes upstairs, the area I spoke of earlier. And then you have the kitchen. It's going to be right to your right. And it's all a little cubbyhole thing. So you can see you're going to have the kitchen cabinets wrapping around. There's where your refrigerator would be. This is a gas community, so you see the gas outlet there and your vent going up. Lots of can lighting, and this is gonna be your space for the dining room table. Coming back around here, this looks to be kind of a butler's pantry area or just a, I don't know. This could be your main pantry, kind of tucked back here or whatever you want to use that space for. You don't see a framing for a door. And I know there's more spaces back here for possible pantry space. So sorry, sometimes I'm kind of guessing at this, just like you are. I could look up other floor plans online in advance, but there's no fun in that. All right, but this is going to be your um, utility room, you see your washer and dryer set up with a door going out to the side of the house, which is kind of nice. This is a big, big three car garage with a door leading to the main area. See it's plum for water softener. But man, this is a, no matter what size vehicles you put in here, you're gonna have no space. All right, let's head back into the main living space. Your water heater, well, yeah, they got a place for your water softener there, but it's got a plumbing for, well, you're plumbing for your water softener there, but that looks like, I don't know. I have to figure this one out, how they're gonna do that. But my clients with me today, this heart, this house kind of, uh, checks off some of the boxes so i'm going to do a video for it you have your powder room coming in from the garage and this could be another your storage closet kind of going under the stairs where's my daughter would call it the harry potter room all right this is your main living area beautiful tall a-frame ceilings going way up Check out the backyard. So the sun will be setting on this side of the house. So your garage 
and the little loft area up above will provide plenty of shade for this space you see here. So you could easily put extended deck going around there, going into a pool if you wanted to. You see your neighbors to the left. Well, they do have a beautiful pool. These are, these are pretty wide lots, but definitely more space in the back. So you're definitely gonna have nobody visibly right behind you. But yes, you are gonna have people next door to that. This is on septic, just wanted to point that out. But yeah, plenty of nice space. And uh, yeah, let's head on upstairs to showcase what that looks like. Nice wide uh, first part of the stairs and then it gets a little more normal. All right, right when you come upstairs, you do have, oh, good to see they got some spray foam there for insulation, that's always good. The uh, loft area where you make this your game room, whatever you want to do with it. Then you have two bedrooms over on this side. Decent sized bedrooms. I think this one is 11 by 11. And then you're gonna go the shared bathroom, dual sinks, shower tub combo. And then you have the other bedroom. This is, I believe is 11 by 12. A view from uh, this window. Love the Texas Hill Country views. Now, Bell Oaks, your tax rate's gonna be right around 2%. There's not, you got your main grocery store, which is HEB, right off 46, and it's about a 10 minute drive from here. But you also do have Blanco Road, which will take you about 15 minutes down Blanco to get to all of your shopping, your Target, your Whole Foods, all that stuff, about a 15 minute drive down Blanco Road. All right, we got another bedroom right here. This is a little bit bigger bedroom. Looks like it's about 12 by 12. Decent sized closet. This is your shared bathroom for the game room and that bedroom. Once again, another, another toilet and a shower tub combo. And this is that extra space above the garage, which my client's like, hey, this might work for my art studio. It does face south. I'm learning something new every day, learning that north facing windows are best for painting. So I'm like, ah, learn something new. But she says she could easily put up some uh, lights from uh, to help improve that situation. But lots of space here and definitely, for, according to her, this would give her space to make you feel like you're not in the main house anymore, but you've gone off into a work mindset of painting. So yeah, let's head on downstairs and check out the master bedroom. All right, we're back downstairs and I haven't talked price yet. Uh, currently, as of the first week of August, 2022, they're asking 975. Um, our market has shifted a little bit. So good thing buyers do have a little more negotiating room. So of course, we're not gonna offer 975. Uh, and the closer this house gets to being complete, a little more wiggle room we have. But this is the bedroom, the master bedroom, really tall A-frame ceilings again, lots of light. Big, big shower going into the master, dual vanities, and you can tell they've got the little waterproof backer boards all around here. So they're gonna be putting a big tub in this location. Might have to put some blinds up there. Or just call it good that you've got some trees blocking you. But a big mud inset shower. 
water closet. Oh, that's a neat little shelf there. Kind of digging that. Put your magazine rack up there. All right, check out the master bedroom closet. Decent sized closet. Not the biggest, but decent, definitely a decent sized closet. Depends on how, how much, uh, if whoever that shopper is, how much clothes they have to have. But that's a pretty good sized closet. You one last big look of the place. All right, let's go wrap the tour of this custom home being built in Bell Oaks in Bulberti, Texas. The builder is Texas Farmhouse Homes, and it is 3,100 square feet, and as of early August, they're asking 975 for it. So if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button, and of course, I want you to subscribe to my channel and keep sharing these videos with your friends and family. All right, take care now. Bye.